Hi everyone, Native Q here and welcome to another EVE Online video. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for not producing videos uh, for quite some time. And uh, yeah, real life had got in the way. Um, but the good news is I should be able to now get back into creating videos and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy them. So uh, yeah, first a clip is going to be a short clip. And uh, in this clip, as you can see, we have a roll call that has just jumped to a Sino beacon in a NullSec system. And he's been bubbled by our friendly neighborhood simple farmer, Cloaky Camper. So the roll call pilot at this point is shitting his pants and hoping like hell he's going to be able to get out of the bubbles before the saber calls in reinforcements. Unfortunately, he's living in a dream world. So as you can see, shortly the Sabre is going to light his Sino and his buddies are going to jump in and uh, yeah, make a very short work of the roll call. So uh, sit back and enjoy. And as you can see, the Sabre has signaled in three super carriers. Um, as you can see there, there are two Hells and one Waverun. And uh, they've launched their fighters. And I can see some Cyclops Tech 2 fighters in that bunch as well. So they're pretty much going to make a short work of that Royal Call. Now, this is one thing I'd love to talk about. And that's the fact that jumping to Sino Beacons during the blackout is a bad idea simply because you don't know who's in system um, now i used to use sino beacons um, before the blackout and that's just a really convenient way to jump to a system that you know is clear because you'd be able to tell in local who's in system and who's not um, i would never jump to a system that has a newt or a bad guy um, in local uh, that to me was just a no-no. And now the fact that we've got the Sino, uh, sorry, not the Sino, the uh, blackout happening, yeah, I just don't jump to Sino Beacons at all. Because, simply because, yeah, of this reason. You just don't know who's in system. And uh, as you can see, this uh, Royal Call pilot, he made the mistake. I don't know if he was in a rush or he just thought I'd just risk it. Um, but he just made the bad, bad, bad choice to jump blindly to a Sino Beacon. And he ultimately paid the biggest cost, and that's losing his ship. Now, his ship was worth about 7.5 billion isk. Not that much, but I will link the Z Kill Board um, kill report down below. And it looks as so though that this guy was moving his entire life. I don't know if he was a newbie um, just coming down to catch or, or what the story was. But um, unfortunately for him, it looks as though this was a big loss because he did seem to lose a hell of a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, it's just one of these things. Um, I do feel sorry for him, but um, at the end of the day... Uh, what a complete and utter idiot for <laughs> for jumping to a Sino Beacon blindly like that. Uh, that's just crazy. I mean, I know with test and some fleets that we do, um, that's normally how we, well, I wouldn't say normally, but that's how we have caught super carriers in the past. And that's with the super carriers jumping out to a Sino Beacon and us catching them there. Um they for some unknown reason think it's a safe bet to jump to a sino beacon but uh yeah it, it's not i mean it was risky during the blackout especially if you had newts in system so it was risky before the blackout especially if there were newts in system and um it's just basically suicide now that we have the blackout um but i thought i'd just share this clip because uh yeah it just goes to show that um, these cloaky campers, they have patience and they can sit on a gate or they can sit on a sono beacon for days. 
And uh, you may think it's safe. You may think I'll just risk it and just go for it. But uh, yeah, it's those times that uh, you get caught and you die. Now, as you can see, I've warped to the Sino Beacon because uh, I just noticed in the kill report for that roll call that there was a hell of a lot of blueprints that dropped. So I thought, oh, I'm going to just go there and I'm going to see if I can grab a couple of blueprints. But uh, no, I had to warp out because I was far too slow. Uh, as you can see, there's a um, Stellar Shelf that's just warped in and um, he's guarding the wreck. So um, yeah, I was far too slow on that uh, on that one. Uh, the reason why is I, I just didn't believe what just happened, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. There I was minding my own business, waiting for my Sino, um, my Sino um, cycle to end so I can dock in the um, Keepstar again. And uh, yeah, so my Sino was up for about seven minutes and uh, that Sabre completely ignored me. Uh, he was obviously cloaked up nearby waiting on that um, Sino uh, beacon and um, he didn't pay me any attention whatsoever. So uh, kudos for him for um, not um, blowing his cover. Um, you know, there I was, a helpless Sino ship on a structure, an easy kill. And uh, yeah, the Sabre completely ignored me. And uh, he obviously was after bigger fish to fry than uh, a simple old little Sino ship uh, like the one I was in. So that's uh, pretty much all I have for you. Uh, the moral of the story is don't jump to Sino beacons during the blackout. It's uh, just a really bad, bad thing to do. And uh, yeah, I do feel sorry for that Royal Call pilot. I really do. I'd hate that to be me. But um, again, that's something that I would just never do. Until the next time, guys, fly safe and uh, bye for now.